imagine if we really could do magic? <coughs> and with just one click, make things disappear in our pictures. Well, with this new feature in Photoshop, it looks like Adobe might just have made that possible. Ok, so maybe not real magic, but this new feature which has been added into Content Aware Fill is currently in the beta or the beta testing kind of stage. But it already works great and the best news of all is you can start using it today. All you need to do is go to your Creative Cloud app. Scroll down to the beta app section and you'll see available beta versions of desktop apps to download. Now I have the Photoshop beta downloaded which has this new feature in Content Aware Fill, so let's open it up. Now let's open this picture and say that I want to remove this van, but keep everything and everyone else. Now there's lots of tools in Photoshop we could use such as the Clone Stamp tool, maybe even use Clone Stamp tool with Vanishing Point, but that's not going to be easy because of perspective and limited areas we could use to clone over, and even if we could do it, it would take a long time. Now what would make this a heck of a lot easier is if we had another image taken maybe just before or just after so that we've got one where the van had moved a little bit and then we could use a layer mask. I would need to first of all place the other image into this tab, then rasterize it because I need to make sure the layers are perfectly aligned, so then I drag it below, highlight both layers then go to Edit Auto Align Layers. Then I'll add a layer mask to the top layer and with a black brush, brush away the van. So it's all very doable, but it does take quite a few steps. But look what we can do with this new feature. Let's delete this stuff so we're just left with our original image. Then all I'll do is make a very basic and simple selection around the van. I'll then go to Edit and Content Aware Fill. Now straight away Photoshop is going to try to remove the van and fill the bits in from other areas of the image. The first attempt isn't that good at all but we can help it out by using the sampling brush tool. Any areas covered with the green overlay is what Photoshop is going to use to cover over the removed object, so using the sample brush we can remove or add the green overlay to tell Photoshop what it can and can't use. It does an okayish job, but still nowhere as good as what we'd want. But we can do it even easier and quicker because now over on the right hand side with this new feature, we can use an additional document. So all I need to do is open the menu and choose Import and then navigate to the other image that I have where the van has moved a little bit and within seconds it's done. Photoshop has looked at the two images and filled in with bits from the additional image that it couldn't see in the original image, and the result is perfect. The resulting image has removed the van completely. Let's now try this though on an image where we want to remove an even bigger area. I've got this picture here of this elephant moving these twigs with its trunk, but there's also these other juveniles in the picture too that I don't want. So I'll make a simple selection around them using the lasso tool. And then go to edit, Content Aware Fill. Photoshop tries to remove them and to be fair doesn't do a bad job, but again this would take quite a while to fix. So let's try the new feature. I've got another image where the adult elephant is on its own, but it's not playing with the twigs. It was also handheld so the camera angle has changed a bit too. So I'll import the image to see what it can do. Straight away it's looking really good. It's not perfect, as there would still be some areas to fix, but nothing like when we tried it before. The background elements are lining up, leaving me with the elephant on its own playing with the twigs. Now the colour is off just a little bit here where it's filled it in, so what I can do is use this area in the new feature to alter that a little and add a little bit of red to warm it up. Perfect. Let's try it again though to see if we can remove just one of the juvenile elephants. So taking it back to the start, in Photoshop I'll choose the Object Selection tool. And when I do, it analyses the photograph to see if it can identify individual objects. And amazingly, even though the colour and contrast of the two juveniles 
who are stood one in front of the other, it still manages to do it. And that just blows me away. So let's say I want to remove the bigger of the two juveniles. I'll put my cursor over the juvenile whilst using the object selection tool and then press down. And this loads it as an active selection. Then I'll go to Edit, Content Aware Fill. And we can see here the result without using the new feature. Obviously, it's not that good, so let's go to the right hand side and see what the new feature can do with the additional image. I'll import it, and a very short time later, this is the result. Now, this clearly isn't perfect, but we are asking a lot of Photoshop to do this. It's almost an impossible task. But this is way better than what we had before and now gives us something to work with. So I'll send this back into Photoshop as a new layer. Now I could use the clone stamp tool and carefully cover over the areas that need it, but that could be very difficult and time consuming, especially as I get close to the other juvenile elephant. But what I can do is this I'll use the object selection tool to load the other juvenile as an active selection. Then I'll click on the layer containing the original juvenile that we covered over using Content Aware Fill. I'll hold down the Option key on Mac or Alt key on Windows and click to add a layer mask. Now when we look at the layer mask, the white areas on this layer are visible and the black areas are hidden. So if I click on the thumbnail of this layer and with a brush with a red foreground colour, paint all over it, you can see that the red brush strokes are only visible on the visible parts of this layer, which according to the layer mask is everything except for the smaller of the two juveniles because that was black on the layer mask. This means we could use the clone stamp tool on this layer and clone areas without them appearing on the little elephant. So if I wanted to tidy up the little elephant itself, I would simply click on the layer mask to make it active and then use a white brush to make more of the layer visible. So although not an instant fix, the new feature means there's a lot less to do. Now before we finish, there's one more thing that I want to show you. Here's a photograph I took with my phone in Glastonbury and what I'd like to do is to remove this person on the right hand side. So I'll make a loose selection around him with my lasso tool, then go to edit, Content Aware Fill. Again, the result isn't great, so let's try using an additional image with this new feature. Now, the only one I have is this one, and although the same location, it's a different composition and further away. Ordinarily, this would be useless, but in this new feature, we are able to use these pins. We can add a pin onto our main image and then just adjust where it appears in the additional image underneath if we need to. Now we can add a maximum of four pins, but when we're using them, we're basically saying to Photoshop, look, I know this image is slightly different to the original, but this part of the original is this part on the additional image, so can you use that? The results can be really good. Not perfect, but really good, and so it's incredibly useful. So there you go, it's not perfect, it is a beta version after all, but the results I'm getting are surprisingly good, so I highly recommend you give it a go. Now, when that final version is eventually released, if there's any major changes to what I've gone through, I'll of course do an updated video. But as always, I would really appreciate a thumbs up, and if you haven't yet, give us a subscribe, because that's just a great free way that you can support this channel. But for now, that's me, I'm done. I'll see you in the next video.